These two guys were caught and arrested Monday near Santa Rosa in New Mexico, but not for any crime allegedly committed in our state. 24-year-old 24, 24 Radeka Solis and 25-year-old Joseph Rutherford were wanted out of Tennessee for second-degree murder. That's really just the latest example of our state police officers helping catch out-of-state fugitives. As Brittany Costello shows us, they've arrested about 10 in just the last six months. It is one way to get from point A to point B, but for criminals, the interstate can turn into an escape route. I-40 is a very large artery, if you will, through the country. Public information officer for New Mexico State Police, Ray White, says it often happens by chance that suspected criminals end up getting caught up on New Mexico roadways. You hear it all the time, routine traffic stop, but there's nothing ever routine about a traffic stop. And the vast majority of fugitives that are, you know, trying to hide are stopped on the highway system and that's how they're located and arrested. That was the case Monday when state police officers responded to a call near Santa Rosa, a car broken down on the side of the highway. They were evasive to who they were. They were hiding their identities. And, you know, the, the officer eventually found out that they were wanted out of Tennessee for second degree murder. Police arrested 24-year-old Rodriguez Soils and 25-year-old Joseph Rutherford, wanted for second degree murder out of Tennessee. And last year, officers stopped near Edgewood to help this woman. Well, I don't, I don't know what's in there. I just got to make sure there's no one else or anything else in there. You can over eight. She turned out to be a woman from New York, wanted for murder. If someone's wanted for a crime in another state, depending on how bad that crime is, and you never know what that person's capable, capable of doing, a lot of times they are armed and dangerous. Brittany Costello, KOB4.